Hi, friends. I've missed you so much. I have a question for you. Do you like school buses? Do you like to ride in them or just look at them while they're driving by? Okay, now I've got another question for you. Have you ever been on a bus with animals in it? No? Yeah? Okay, well, we're gonna ride a school bus right now and we're gonna ride it with a bunch of farm animals. Let's do it. The cow on the bus goes moo, 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 moo. The cow on the bus goes moo, 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 all through the farm. The sheep on the bus goes ba, 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 ba. The sheep on the bus goes ba 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 all through the farm. The pig on the bus goes oink 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 oink. The pig on the bus goes oink 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 all through the farm. The horse on the bus goes nay, 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 nay. The horse on the bus goes nay, 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 all through the farm. The chicken on the bus goes cluck, 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 cluck. Cluck, 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 the chicken on the bus goes cluck, 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 all through the farm. The dog on the bus goes woof, 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 woof. The dog on the bus goes woof, 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 all through the farm. The cat on the bus goes meow, 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 meow. The cat on the bus goes meow, 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 all through the farm. The animals on the bus make lots of sounds, lots of sounds. Lots of sounds, the animals on the bus make lots of sounds all through the farm. Uh oh, it looks like these silly farm animals were rolling around and playing in the mud. What should we do? Should we give them a bath? Clean them inside this soapy, bubbly water? Let's do it! The bath is already ready to go. And I also need this brush to clean them. All right, which animal should we start with? How about this one, it's a horse. Okay, get in the water. Ooh, nice and warm. Nee. Let me scrub you till you're clean. All clean. Let's clean this one next. It's a cow. A 
Okay, go in. Ah, nice and warm. Time to scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. All clean. What animal is this? It's a sheep. Like in our song, Ba Ba Black Sheep. Okay, dive in. All clean. Next, let's clean the rooster. Squeaky clean. Look, we have one more animal left. It's a little bunny rabbit. The bunny is white, so you can really see the dirt on it. Look, you can see its clean white coat now. What do you think is the fluffiest animal on the farm? Yeah, very fluffy, yes. The animal I was thinking of is a sheep. Sheep are so fluffy. Have you ever heard of the song Baba Black Sheep? Let's sing it. Have you ever seen a different color sheep instead of black? Oh, you've seen a white one? What about a blue one? Have you ever seen a blue sheep? Seriously? Okay, let's sing Baba Blue Sheep. sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir three bags full one for my neighbor one for my friend one for the little boy who lives at the
Let's make a lamb. A lamb is a baby sheep. Aw, oh, how cute. Let's start with the head. I'm going to glue the head on this paper. You can choose any color paper you'd like. Next, I'm going to glue the ears. Okay, next comes the funny part. We need to add some eyes to our lamb. Hmm. Let me just fix this ear. Okay. Do you think these eyes match the lamp? No, those are so silly. Those are too big. Just kidding. Okay, how about these eyes? Yeah, I think that'll be cute. Okay, let me do the first one. One eye. And here's the second eye. Aww. Those look perfect. Okay, next we're gonna do some painting. Do you like to paint? Me too. I need some white paint for this. And instead of a paintbrush, I'm gonna use a pom-pom. I'm going to dip the pom-pom and make little dots. This is the body. Oh, it looks so cute and fluffy. This is so much fun. There's not a wrong way to do it. Do you think I should make it bigger? Okay, let's add more. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Whoa, it's getting super fluffy. The last thing we need to do is add the legs. Let's glue on the legs now. Looks so cute. Let me hear you moo like a cow. Ready, set, moo. Are you mooing? Moo. We're going to sing a song called, Well, Did You Feed My Cow? And you've got some very important parts in the song. Some parts are going to be my part and some are going to be yours. I'm going to ask you if you fed my cow. And your job is to say, yes, ma'am. And you're going to nod your head. Can you say, yes, ma'am? Nice. And then I'm going to ask you, well, what did you feed her? And you're going to say, Corn and hay. Can you say corn and hay? Nice. Did you feed my cow? Yes, ma'am. What did you feed her? Corn and hay. Next, I'm going to ask you if you milked my cow. And you're going to say, yes, ma'am. How did you milk her? Squish, squish, squish. Can you go squish, squish, squish? Good. Next, my cow's not feeling so well. She probably ate a little too much. I'm going to ask you if my cow got sick. You're going to say, yes, ma'am. And I'm going to ask you how she looked. And you're going to go, uh, 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 like you're not feeling good. Can you say, uh, uh, uh. Good. And then 
these birds called buzzards are going to come by. They're going to see if the cow's okay. And I'm going to ask you, how did the buzzards come by? And you're going to say, flop, flop, flop. Can you do that? Flop, flop, flop. Okay, well, let's try to put it together in the song. Well, did you feed my cow? Yes, ma'am. Well, did you feed my cow? Yes, ma'am. Well, what did you feed her? Corn and hay. Well, what did you feed her? Corn and hay. Well, did you milk my cow? Yes, ma'am. Well, did you milk my cow? Yes, ma'am. Well, show me how you milk her. Squish, squish, squish. Well, show me how you milk her. Squish, squish, squish. Well, did my cow get sick? Yes, ma'am. Oh, was she really sick? Yes, ma'am. Well, show me how she look. Uh, uh, uh. Again, how she look. Uh, uh. Oh, did those buzzards come? Yes, ma'am. Oh, did those buzzards come? Yes, ma'am. Well, tell me how they come. Flop, flop, flop. How did they come? Flop, flop, flop. Do you like puzzles? Me too. This is one of my favorite puzzles, and it's of a farm. There are a bunch of different farm animals, and there's even one thing on here that's not an animal. Can you point to the one thing or the one object that's not an animal? It's the barn. Let's look for the missing puzzle pieces inside this pretend hay. I've got to do some digging. I found something. What is this? It's a duck. It looks like a big duck and the baby duck. Can you point to where it belongs on this puzzle? Let's look for another puzzle piece. I found another one. Aw, this is so fluffy. What is it? It's a sheep. Can you point to the puzzle where this belongs? Yeah, it belongs here. Nice work. this? It's a rooster. Have you ever been woken up by a rooster before? I hope not. Can you point to where this rooster belongs? Right there. Okay, let's keep on digging. Oh, this is a big one. this? It's a cow. Can you point to where the cow belongs? Right there. Oh, is this an animal? No. What did we say it is? It's a Barn! Can you point to where the barn belongs? Yep, right up there. I found another puzzle piece. What's this? It's a hen. It's a hen and a baby chick. Can you point to where this piece belongs? 
Yep, right there. Okay, I need to keep on digging. Nothing on this side. Oh, got something. Another big one. It's a horse. Can you point to where the horse belongs? Right there. I think we have one more piece left. Here it is. What's this? It's a pig rolling around in the mud. Can you point to where it belongs? Here it is. Let's put it in. Nice work helping me put the puzzle pieces where they belong. Have you seen my dog? Where did he go? Can you help me look for my dog? Okay, thank you. Do you see him anywhere? He's black and brown. Uh, I thought for sure he'd be in the backyard. I guess not. How about in the kitchen? Hmm, I still can't find him. Pickle, where are you? Do you see him in the bathroom? There he is. Pickle, what are you doing in here? Here's my doggy. This is Pickle. Can you say hi, Pickle? Pickle was hiding because we need to go to the vet. We need to go to the vet just for a checkup. Do you want to meet me there? Okay, let's go. Going to the vet or the doctor can be scary sometimes, but remember the vet and the doctor just want to make sure you're healthy and doing okay. Let's check Pickle's heartbeat. Thum thum, thum thum, thum thum, thum thum. Sounds good. Good boy, Pickle. Now let's check Pickle's temperature. I'm just gonna use a thermometer. Okay, let's wait for it to beep. Looks good. Next, the vet just might feel your pet's body a little bit to make sure everything feels good. Maybe your vet will look inside your pet's mouth. Open. Okay, your teeth look good. Wow, you did such a good job at the vet today, Pickles. You see, you didn't have to hide. Good boy. 
Have you ever seen a cuckoo bird before? Well, it looks like this. It's really cute. Have you ever heard a cuckoo bird before? It makes a really special sound. It sounds like this. Ready? Isn't that really beautiful? We're going to sing a song and we're going to pretend to sound like a cuckoo bird. Can you do it? Okay. Can you go cuckoo, cuckoo? Wow, you sound like a cuckoo bird. Now you're going to put your hands up on the high sound and you're going to bend low on the low sound like this. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Can you do that? Great! Let's put it in the song. The month of May is here. The cuckoo now has sung. Cuckoo, cuckoo, the cuckoo now has sung. Cuckoo, cuckoo, the cuckoo now has sung. do that again and this time you're gonna see cuckoo birds on branches if the note is high the bird is gonna be on a high branch and if the note is low you're gonna see a bird on a low branch it's kind of like reading high notes and low notes in music Sung. Cuckoo, cuckoo, the cuckoo now has sung. Cuckoo, cuckoo, the cuckoo now has sung. I really liked how you did the high and low part, just like how you did high and low in the cuckoo bird song. Let's listen to some music. Sometimes the music is going to get really high, and sometimes it's going to get really low. When it's high, show me with your arms all this high movement. And when it's low, I want you to get really low. You can even crawl on the ground and show me the low music. Can you do it? Let's give it a try. Wow, you really know the difference between high and low music. Nice job. Can you roar like a bear? <sighs> now, what would a baby bear sound like? Maybe a little bit softer? <sighs> nice. Can we help this baby bear find his family? Okay, let's walk around and look for his family. 
The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see, and all that he could see, and all that he could see was the other side of the mountain. The other side of the mountain. The other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Let's keep looking. The bear went across the river. The bear went across the river. The bear went across the river to see what he could see, and all that he could see, and all that he could see was the other side of the river. The other side of the river. The other side of the river was all that he could see. I think we're getting close. The bear walked through the forest. The bear walked through the forest. The bear walked through the forest to see what he could see, and all that he could see, and all that he could see was the other side of the forest. The other side of the forest. The other side of the forest was all that he could see. Should we check? Over by the other side of the mountain. One more time. Okay, let's go. The bear walked over the mountain. The bear walked over the mountain. The bear walked over the mountain to see what he could see, and all that he could see, and all that he could see was the other side of the mountain. The other side of the mountain. The other side of the mountain. And his bear. The bear found his family. Can I hear you chirp like a baby chick? Cheep, 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 cheep. Ah, that sounds so cute. We're gonna sing Los Poitos, and it's a Mexican folk song, which means we're gonna be singing in Spanish. And the song is about these little baby chicks that make a cute sound. They chirp and they go pio pio pio. That's the way you would make the sound in Spanish. And they do that when they're cold and hungry and they're crying. So the mother hen comes to protect them and give them shelter and feed them until they go to sleep and wake up the next morning happy. Los poitos dicen pio pio pio. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, la gallina busca el maíz, el trigo, les da la comida y les presta abrigo. Bajo sus dos alas, acurrucaditos, duermen los pollitos hasta el otro día. Cuando se despiertan, dicen mamacita, tengo mucha hambre, dame lombricitas. Los pollitos dicen, pío, 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 cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, la gallina busca el maíz, el trigo. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío. Have you ever seen a camel before? They're really big and they have humps on their back. I wanted to play a really fun hand game with you called Allison's Camel. And we also practice our counting in this game. There's a camel with 10 humps. Have you ever seen that before? 10 humps? And every time we play the game at the end, we take away a hump. So then it's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And when we get to one hump, the hand game is over. For the hand game, you clap and then pretend to hit your partner's hand. Clap again. Pretend to hit your partner's hand. 
clap again. If you have someone next to you, you can play with your sibling, friend, or parent, or you can pretend to do it with me. Let's practice that slowly. Good, one more time. Clap. Clap. Awesome. Let's put the song inside the clapping game. Ready, go. Allison's camel has 10 humps. Allison's camel has 10 humps. Allison's camel has 10 humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has 9 humps. Allison's camel has 9 humps. Allison's camel has 9 humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has eight humps. Allison's camel has eight humps. Allison's camel has eight humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has seven humps. Allison's camel has seven humps. Allison's camel has seven humps. So go. Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has six humps. Allison's camel has six humps. Allison's camel has six humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has five humps. Allison's camel has five humps. Allison's camel has five humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has four humps. Allison's camel has four humps. Allison's camel has four humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has three humps. Allison's camel has three humps. Allison's camel has three humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has two humps. Allison's camel has two humps. Allison's camel has two humps. So go, Allison, go. Boom, boom, boom. Allison's camel has one hump. Allison's camel has one hump. Allison's camel has one hump. So go, Allison, go. Boom, 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 boom. You did it. You made it down all the way to one hump. Friends, I had so much fun singing and playing with you today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Misty for tots for everyone.